Hello, everybody. Welcome to Friday. Did this week just fly by? So today we're going to do a couple of different things. I want to go in and use. Now I've got to put this together so that you can kind of get a, a look here. Um, it's falling apart because I never I didn't secure things down. So I didn't want to have to cut everything twice. Anyway, this is going to be our layout. This is not attached. It just wants to make, there we go. So for you, those of you that like to do the layouts, the 12 by 12 layouts, everything's like I said, loose. So don't, we're going to put it together, together with measurements. Anyway, this is going to be our 12 by 12 layout. And um, I don't have any right here to show you, but I've shown them before. They're called the click sticks. And the click sticks are by Foundations Decor, and I've shown them before. I didn't grab a set, but you can hang up your photos that way um, on these click sticks. Some of you may remember them. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, everyone. So we're going to create this layout using the Simple Stories frames for photo frames. Because now also these photo frames that come, the Simple Stories do with their lines. Um, Jennifer Palmer. On our design team, hi, Margaret. Our design team has done a whole album where she used some of the frames. I can't remember what line it was, but it's back on her, uh, Jennifer Palmer, her YouTube channel. So this will be what we're going to do last. So hi, Jackie. And we're going to create those. So I'm just going to set these little guys aside so I don't mess up those papers. And I wanted to do two cards. These are my, I made the envelopes. I just wanted them to stay together. Hello, Tanya. So get out your scraps for the Graphic 45 Farmhouse. And I just couldn't resist. I had to make some of the monotone colored cards because I, I love black and white. Hi, Nancy. Or you can definitely do any of the cards that you like with any of the papers. Super fun, but this black and white chalkboard is one of my favorites. And the cards are about four by six and four and a half by six. So I did that one with Blessed. And then I did the Live, Love, and Laugh. And again, just the black and white. And I'm going to show you, you know, cutting your little cut aparts apart. And I just stuck some on the back. So these are these are actually going to be going out today. I decided to join on the bandwagon. Other designers are sending out some cards to create happy mail so i thought i'd send out some that we make today so to get started like i mentioned earlier your scraps with your graphic 45 and i wanted to cut this with you hi barbara so we're going to be cutting i'm going to do the exact same cut apart so that you can see what i've used i've used the blessed it's right there. <laughs> I can now. This blessed is also on that main cover sheet. If you don't have it on here and you really want to use it, and there was also a three by four card, I believe, in your ephemera pack. But you can cut these apart, and there. This one seems to be a little bit smaller, and we do have background noise today because we have um, some workers here. And then we're gonna use uh, the live, love, and laugh. I want to use that one again because. I know one of our, uh, on our teaching team, Bonnie, that's one of her favorite sayings. And now I've got all the, I've got this in my head. <laughs> and then I did use from this, I used here. So we're going to just do some cut apart cutting first. And I'm going to cut off the top here. And then we're going to go ahead and put our cards together. Great use of your scraps. Hi, Anne. How is everyone doing? And the first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to cut my little farm animals off the bottom. I want to keep, I want to keep those guys all intact. I don't want to cut their heads off. <laughs> so we've got one nice long strip that we can use. And as you'll see, I did use it on the inside here. And of course, you know. Our light colored papers pick up everything. And I don't want to just cut up my sheets. We're going to be using the back. I do have some left here. And I could have used like Rise and Shine and Mince Meat Pies. Would be pretty cute. 
but I'm going to make some more cards when we're done. Oh, and another one, the general store with homegrown. I love it. You know what? Um, I know that this seems off topic from, well, not really from scrapbooking, but have you ever woken up with this really awesome like vision? I woke up. So you know what this means? This is going to be another logo. <laughs> and I actually, I, I started drawing it. So the gal that does my logos with Wilbur. Oh, let's go ahead and make sure. Just cut to the bottom of your rise and shine if you're cutting with me. Um, I see him looking out a kitchen window, a country window, Wilbur. So this will be a new logo for summer. But you know what I see? And I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping we see the comeback of more mom and pop stores. I don't know why. I just have this crazy vision that we're going to start seeing it. And I'm hoping we do. And this paper is kind of why I came running to it. It's like, we we need to do this. We need to get our crafters out there. Um, I follow one, Backyard Dahlia. If you love your tiered trays, she's on Facebook. And I do encourage everybody to go out there and just support the stores like that. The small, homegrown stores. And these cards, just, I had to make them. I know I'm weird. <laughs> I'm I'm weird. Um, let's see. Someone. Oh, will we be stamping inside, Teresa? No. <laughs> you definitely can. I am myself not a big stamper. These would be absolutely perfect to stamp, especially if you had some farmyard stamps. But I'm going to be making these darling little flowers. And I'm using my two little, hi, Erica, my two little Fiskers. So we're going to make some flowers and, of course, our ribbons. But stamping is something you definitely can do. So we've got our two cut aparts. This is my happy place and live, love, and laugh. And the next one I want is the blessed. So, again, <clears throat> I'll be using my left-hand side here. Or some of this life on the farm to mat with. Because I used the black and white. You know, I have a ton of stamps. I definitely have my Wilbur stamp. <laughs> my stamp with the beagle is always handy, but I won't be stamping. Hi, Penny. How are you? Okay. Yeah, we're going to just kind of cut... So that we preserve our cut aparts because you don't want to just cut into it and then ruin them all. So there's our blessed. I'm going to take off some of the black border. And a lot of times when you when I make a lot of cards, I don't do a lot of it on camera, but I do make cards. Um, I will take a cut apart part sheet and just cut it apart, like you'll see over here. And then I work from one sheet of cut aparts. I don't do any certain layouts with my cards. It's just what does the paper say to me, and then I'll start making my cards. So let's start with the blessed. So we're going to do this one first. And this time I'm going to reverse. Instead of the black, I'm using this one is the G45 Farmhouse. The Graphic 45 Farmhouse Collection. And it had this black and white sheet, Penny. And I just adored it. I, I have to use it. And then another piece that goes really well will be from your patterns and solids. And I had tons of scraps. It's this one. But I'm going to use the reverse side. And then this is a nice one to use, which my camera doesn't like. But look at that background. Look at the crackles. It's just amazing. So I want to give you some sizes here of the different things we're using. And I did use the chipboard, which you can pick if you have any left from when we made our farmhouse album. Then we're going to make these little teeny tiny flowers. Because it needed some flowers. So my card base is six by four and a half. And I know I've shown this before, but I'm going to show you again really quick how I create a card base. I just do it so different. And, um, oh, I do them blank on the inside so that I can write my sentiment. 
sometimes I add a picture. When I create cards, I don't go by these A4s. I can't. That's just not how my brain works. I just start by scoring a 12 by 12 sheet in half at six. I fold my paper. I don't know if I get more cards out of it or not, but then I just start cutting. So, for instance, this one that is four and a half. My dogs are crazy. So, I just cut a four and a half inch piece. You can cut a six by six piece. This one um, is a little bit bigger. And so, yeah, it was four and a half. So, I, that, that's how I do my card bases. I just cut it in sixes. And then you can also cut it down in seven. Um, and yes, and Ginger did some black and white cards with Kaleidoscope. You could even do a full size card if you wanted, especially for a graduate or something. Um, Ginger did those black and white with Kaleidoscope. Oh, I've loved them ever since. So when I saw this black and white, I thought I have to make these. Okay, let's get this out here so you can see. My card base is four and a half by six. I'm doing double matting with all of this. So like I mentioned, I'm doing something different here. I used the little farm animals. I'll be using them on the other card. They look like this. This, this is from your patterns and solids. Hello, Ashley. Patterns and solids. And just the black artisan card stock. Lots of scraps I know you have. Five and three quarters by four and a quarter. So I'm just cutting everything with a quarter inch. And basically, you could use both sides. I just thought that was going to be too dark. Four, four by five and a half. So I'm going to create this first before we put it on our card. Black ink to distress my edges. Um, the yeah, when cards are blank inside, that gives you so much room. You can write, you can add a photo, you can also well, you can do anything. You can just do so much with it. Before I put this one on, though, I do want to put the center. And I'm going to also put some black and white ribbon that's left over in my stash from a million other things. But we want we want our little centerpiece to be the same size, two by five and a half, because this is now five and a half by four. Five and three quarters by four and a quarter, four by five and a half, and then five and a half by two. Those are my three layers. I'm going to put this down first just in case I need to cut anything off. It'll look a lot neater. Let's do the ink in here. These definitely need that distressing. I love the kaleidoscope. We still have it in stock. And the kaleidoscope is what I did a few projects with. But if you remember, my camera, those of you that followed, oh, my gosh, my camera was not happy. Okay. I'm going to have to grab a rag. Not a rag. Oh, sorry. Camera hates that. Oh my gosh. So I'm just seeing if it sticks out on the edge a little bit. Totally up to you. Gosh. Not crazy the way it pixelates there, so it's gonna no, blend that in. Ribbon. Whatever. Now you may want to use something to add more color. This is just to give it more 
of a layered look. So I'm going to bring this one up a little bit higher. with my score tape. There is something I got in there. It's I can feel it's lumpy. <laughs> so I hope your Friday's going wonderful. You know, we had some really bad wind the last two days, but today it's so nice out there. Put your ribbon on top there. Doesn't that just remind you of Grandma's kitchen? Oh, I love it. Super easy, super quick cards. That's what's fun. Whoops. My black base. Now I'm just going to put that on there. Give it that nice black border. Oh my gosh, it just seems so quiet. <laughs> Even online, you guys are either watching intensely, hello Rebecca, or you're working with me, or you're working on your own projects. Because I know we have given you, our designers at Country Craft Creations has given you lots of projects. Hopefully it's kept you nice and busy. Okay, now I can go ahead and put this down on the card base. And then if you um, want to put just your plain colored cardstock on the inside, we'll be cutting that also. I do like to put that on. Well, this one isn't so bad because we don't have a lot of chunky ribbons, so we can do it after. I use art glitter glue, and we sell it at countrycraftcreations.com. Right now, um, our larger bottles are out more on the way. The Art Glitter Glue Company has, they're waiting on bottles. As soon as they get, oh, you're making lasagna. Yum. As soon as they get more bottles in, our next shipment will go, um, go out. Well, we really wanted to keep you busy, Mary, because, you know, busy hands, busy mind. Makes the days go by fast. Hello, Pamela. How's that baby? She's got a baby beagle. And it's killing me. And so does one of our other group members, Tammy. So, that's our card base. And then we want to add our blessed. And I want to, I am going to mat that. And I want to just, you can cut that from your scraps. reason I didn't cut the matting. Oh, you're going to love the cardstock. If, um, Sorry, I need to check something. And sorry, I have to still talk to the warehouse. Um, I didn't cut the matting because I really didn't know what size I would end up cutting this out to be, but it is three and three quarters by two and three eighths. So I want to cut my matting just, you know, a little bit bigger, however big you want it. I have that quarter inch all the way around, so I'll do the same. So I'm going to cut mine at three and seven eighths. Will be my first cut. Oops, I need to move our layouts here. And then I'll use this for other stuff. Hi. Oh, thank you. Well, this is the G45 
farmhouse and now two and a half let's go let's go two and five eighths we can always oh i just dumped everything I need to be careful there did i say two and five eighths yeah you know what i cannot believe jennifer just got her design team package and she's already whipped out that first project and it is adorable with the school paper I have Kim working on that on our design team. It, everything just really pretty. There we go. And you know, I think I'm going to add some black. When you do cards, you find that you have a lot of scraps. So let's go ahead and do another matting to this. Two and three fourths by four. There we go. And it doesn't take a lot of cardstock. And these I am going to put on foam dots. I'm going to pop it up. I like that. I know. I'm loving the black and white. I know if I was using though the colors, I'd be saying the same thing. Oh, I love the color. I just love the Graphic 45 Farmhouse Collection. They did a really good job with this. And now they came back out with Home Sweet Home. Yes, you can mail it. Um, see, I made my envelope with my white artisan. And you can mail it. It's It'll be chunky. And, of course, you know, it's going to get flattened in the mail. And it, it should go with one stamp because this is not an oversized envelope. And I make my envelopes, though, the next size up when you're using your envelope punch board. Because if you don't, then it's just going to smash the whole thing. Then we have our blessed. Hi, Connie. Well, welcome. Oh, I know this collection. Oh, it's so pretty. So, yes, buy lots. Now, I'm going to put this down. We're going to make our flowers here in a second. But if you're going to use one of the chipboards, and I used the Farmyard Friends. It was the only one that was really black and white to this. The other one that I think is kind of close. Because like I said, I was trying to keep really to the black and white theme. I could add that it would add just a touch of red which is okay too actually it does it looks pretty good um I know it is small today but you know I find that when it's a mini album Mary Jo or if, when we do our folios of course the groups quite a bit large and I think with the weather and a lot of people have gone back to work when these people have gone back to work and we just finished you know from last week a huge album we finished the authentic wedding album so today i thought i would just go a little more laid back and do some cards let's do a fun layout and i'm going to move this over a little bit make more room but i still want room for my bow and some of the flowers i'm going to make so, foam dots, if you have them. And that's not exactly where that might go. I may change my mind.
you know, that'd be so cute, actually, Ashley, with you being on the farm. And I saw your new tractor. Oh, my. That's quite the tractor. remove the back I still use my glue to make things permanent you don't want it to get to your the recipient and have it fall off these are really simple really fun and then I have some black Baker's twine and I have to show it to you because I had to go get it back out of the mud this is mine because Wilbur had it out in the mud. He took my whole spool. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you take care of that sugar, Kathy. So I'm just, this is pretty thin. Um, um, you know, low, low sugar. Oh, your sugar is super high. Oh, yeah, you got to control that for sure. So I'll just feed it through. Like I said, I've got four layers, so we'll use this. Oops, on the next card and these are great cards just to send out because to say hi to someone let them know you're thinking about them and you know on the inside there I'm going to cut a this is a four and a quarter so I'm going to cut a four by five piece of black And then I can also put a smaller piece of white or you can use your gel pen, pens. I have a white one, which always disappears because the grandkids love the white gel pen, but I do have some. Anyway, writing on a white gel pen would be really cool on this one. Definitely add that to the inside. I like to add the inside because it adds weight. And black shows everything, of course. And then we'll, we'll put a sticker and some things in there. Put your board at the top. Now, the, remember, if you make your card super bulky, then you are going to have to make a bigger envelope. And then your postage definitely will go up. So you have to take that in consideration when mailing. And then I used, the, I know it's black and white. It's more of a cream, but that's okay. I just tied the bow using our black and white. We have this still in stock at Country Craft Creations. Right in the website under ribbons. We're just going to tie a bow. It ties really nice. No special effects here. <laughs> it just is a very easy to use ribbon. tight um Wendy we yeah that's why I've been doing it once a month with you guys because I'm finding it's so nice to have cards now I have the Cricut Joy and I've been making a ton of graduation cards too because my granddaughter has girlfriends of course that are graduating I always do this the wrong way. Uh, yeah, that's the wrong way. That's still the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. There we go. And so I've been doing my joy just for those quick cards. And boy, is it quick. Me? Oh, no. <laughs> well, thank you. I don't think I do, but this is the right way. You guys, I am so. There we go. I'm, I have to envision everything before I do it. Even cutting a bow. Oops. Let's it out. And decide where you want that to go. And it's, they can hang off your card. 
before I put it down, whoa, let's freak out the camera. Let's make some flowers. For this one, definitely I'm going to go a little more with the black. And to make those, cut away from yourself. I'll remember that. So this is just a Fiskars. Had this one for years. Now, I still know that they do have them in Joann's. Sorry about the noise. I'm just going to take 12 for right now. And then for the centers. I want more of the lighter color. And I did three. Now this is another Fiskars. And I'll bet you guys have these two just tiny. Now I want to show you something too. When forming your flowers, you might have the Heartfelt Creations, which is a really cool, you know, flower foam. Half the time I can't find one. <laughs> See my dots? I take them and I turn them over. Because you need kind of that padding. But I had the professional flower mats until I got Wilbur. And can you guess where they're at now? Yeah, they've gone to my puppy beagle land. I no longer own. I no longer own any. <laughs> oh, Kathy, that is funny. I do too. Yes, Penny, I do too. I have to envision it. Then I talk to myself and then. A lot of times my son will come around the corner, the one that's living here with us, and he'll look at me like, were you talking to me? <laughs> so if you have the, the roller tool, just roll it on your package of foam dots. It works really great. Whoops. And I'm rolling the wrong side because you want to roll it on the side that's going to be facing up. Just until you get the shape so that it's don't want these really bulky. They're going in an envelope. And where are your stickers? Um, I, that's why I've got glue here. They're going into envelopes and they're going to kind of flatten. But you still want them to look nice. And these little tiny ones are so cute. And even on these little ones, the little ones are going to be white facing up. So you can kind of see how it turns them into like that bowl shape. Yeah, see, I'll go through my dots, but you're not going to hurt these. I just find a new spot for the next one. That way you can also push hard. Here we go. And it didn't hurt my dots at all. Kathy, I've had this for years, but you it, this one is, is the McGill flower tool, but you may have this. A lot of crafters, let me show you, will score with these. This is just a store-bought one. Some You'll see them used as scoring tools. I can't score these tools. Oh, you're welcome, Linda. I can't score with these tools. I go through my paper. And then I have these in different sizes, so it depends on the size of your flower. These were picked up at Hobby Lobby years ago, years ago. But they're they're great tools for things like this. Oh, well, Wilbur has to have a bath, Linda, almost every day if I don't watch him. Because he goes out back into the mud and he runs when I say bath. So now we're just going to off-center these. And so that's kind of why I like five petal flowers. These are five petals. Whoops, because they're easy to offset. And we'll kind of just squish it up. Like I said, these are going to flatten down. Right now, I'm just going to do three petals each. And I do have the graphic 45 dots because I love them. They're a little bit fatter. We're going to put a white one in the center. 
really simple to make your own little cards. I mean, your own little flowers. To put on your cards. Yeah, five petals. I can't hold on to nothing. Five petals seem to be the magic number for me. I'm going to use one of the little tiny black ones. After we lay down our bow, we'll kind of decide where we want to put these. But Linda, you can use four petals too. I mean, don't don't go out and buy anything new unless you want to or think you have to have five petals. You still can make these. I just like the layering of five. Little dot of glue in the center. <laughs> Pamela, have you given Dixie your new little beagle a bath yet? Happy Friday, Terry. Yeah, it's Friday. I love Fridays and Wednesdays when we do our lives. So it feels like I'm crafting with people, not by myself, or chasing my beagle in the craft room to give me back my stuff. See, those were down here at the bottom. So I'll put another one at top. So I need to do two more flowers. Again, this is just the back of my foam dots. Because when you own a beagle, you can't have nice things like flower foam for, forming a mat or, you know, because your beagles eat them. Hello, Renee. I guess other dogs would eat them too. Um, me too. And actually, I'm starting to get a stockpile of cards. And so I'm very happy about that. And you can buy a lot of those, you know, great layouts and different things. I have trouble following them because <laughs> I kind of go off in my own little tangent here. But those are great too when you want to make a lot. If you can find some great layouts, you know, the sketches. To create a bunch to have on hand. Okay, that one we're gonna let dry a little bit more. I just take my scissors now and uh, somewhat separate the petals. So this is a great job for an arts and craft project if you have little ones home. You can have them punch up all your scraps of paper and put these in a box so that you can grab your flower petals anytime you want to make some oh <laughs> yeah wilbur came out with a roll of toilet paper this morning too pam in fact it's sitting here on the desk with me i grabbed that from him so fast i lost my other flower oh there it is what is it with puppies and toilet paper There we go. You can hold that bottom petal. And then we'll just put them down on our card. Stick that under there just a little bit so it's not 
the more that hangs over your card, the bigger your envelope has to be. So I'll put that underneath there with those foam dots. Now, this bow is somewhat of a, a rayon. And I know my art glitter glue is not going to hold it. So I'm going to use the E6000. I have to cap it right away or it'll ooze everywhere. I love the Graphic 45 flower dies, Renee. I love those ones if you ha are using those. I make a lot too, but I'm kind of out. So we're going to, and I'm sorry about my camera. I'm going to add a clothespin here to be our fingers. And there's your two different uh, looks on these cards. It just depends on what you use for your base. Divide them, um, changing the blacks just really gives it a totally different look. So we're going to let that dry. And that card is done. Super simple. And now you've got a really awesome handmade card that was made in the USA. Because <laughs> I know this paper was printed here. Your boards well anyway and you don't have to run to the store it's all right here so we can put that aside and let's go to our live love and laugh same thing i did this with black ivory but i'm going to reverse it i'm going to do ivory you can see two different looks and then the little farm animals again another super simple card and you're ready to start sending out to your friends. Let's move that to the side. The only thing that I did not <clears throat> cut. Oh, I did. I cut the inside. I'm going to use the black. I didn't cut it out of the spectrum. Not spectrum. Aus uh, art. My cardstock. Artisan cardstock. <laughs> That's the name for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So again, I'm going to ink. Let's do the inside first. We do have them, Pamela. And is Bonnie still out there with us? I'm not sure if we've got them completely on yet. But yes, we have them. We're carrying them. They're the graphic 45 enamels. So if Bonnie is out there, I'll have her check on them. She she keeps up the inventory on the website. And she had popped in here for a minute. If not, I will take care of that right after the show. Um, you know what, Linda, if you cut wrong, that is just fine. What you do is you add another cardstock or you, you improvise. Bonnie, are the graphic 45 dots on the website or have they been? Because we got a new shipment in. Okay, so there's my inside. One thing I did not do and I meant to do because I was going to put the cows down. Remember we talked about that? <laughs> so... You can either have it the, the same with the card. I usually like to go with my matting on the inside, and I forgot to cut those. We cut those little guys off a minute ago. And this inside piece is four inches, so this will be very simple. I'm just going to cut four inches from my cow so that I don't cut his head off. And actually, we really didn't cut anybody off, which always is nice. <laughs> what I'll have to admit, I love enamel dots with Echo Park, Cartabella, and Simple Stories. But once you use these Graphic 45, they come on a sheet of gold, silver, and black. Because you can see how much chunkier they are. They're just, they're really nice. Ooh. See, that's what happens with your black ink. It's kind of it's like a magnet on your white papers. No measurements. I'm just putting it down here towards the bottom. little decoration. You could then put a square of your ivory paper if you wanted. Or you can use, whoops, the white, white gel pens. And you can pick those up just about anywhere. They look like this, just the jelly rolls. It's 
See, then you can stir it on your inside with your jelly roll. Cool, huh? Just get yourself a white. I've even seen it done with the white crayons. So it gives it a total different look. There's our inside. This card base I cut at four and a quarter. It was a little bit smaller than the first one. First one was four and a half. This one's four and a quarter. And I'm going with the black back instead of the ivory. Like I said, it's just the reverse. And this is four inches by five and three fourths. And then I chose this one from the Patterns and Solid. No dot, so sad. Hmm? I lost you there. This one is three and three quarters by five and a half. So three and three quarters wide, five and a half, four by five and three quarters. And we'll just layer that on there. And we'll lay it down on our card. Like I said, these are super simple, super fun. And let's go ahead and ink up our pattern paper. Black goes over to there. It's like a magnet. Oh, well, Pamela, they'll be on right when I'm done then. I promise. And if you've placed an order, then I'm just going to stick them in your box. So no worries. But your box may have already gone out. She's so fast. Well, there's her and Reagan out there, and they're like lightning speed getting these orders gone. Okay, now we're just going to, um, on this one, I'm not using a ribbon to wrap like we did here that keeps it hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down now, and then we'll add our the rest of our embellishments and things to it. And you can go through with these same measurements and just use up all your cut aparts and make a ton of cards that are all occasion. You don't have to have a reason to send this out. These are great friendship. Hi, how you doing? This is my happy place. I hope your happy place is going good because that's about the me mental state of all of us right now. Hope your mental state's okay. <laughs> Are you in your happy place? If you're in your craft room, you're happy. I know you guys. So we have our live, love, and laugh. This one's a little different. I noticed I'd cut off the little corbels down here. I'm going to leave them on this time. And this is my happy place. But one thing we need to do, we definitely need to do some backing to bring it out of um, all the patterns we're seeing. So this is... I'm going to cut a piece of, let's see, black. No, let's use ivory cardstock, two and three eighths by three and three fourths. And we have it right here. Three and three eighths. And I'm going to go two and five eighths. Let's see how that does. Well, that's kind of way off. What did I do here? Two and three eighths. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Now, I want to go with the plaid. Kind of reversing it also there. So now I'm going to cut my plaid piece about two and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I am going to have to cut one of these apart. And, but you know, that's just kind of how it goes. So if you can't take this, don't look. <laughs> I always warn people I'm going to cut apart the picture. <laughs> Some of you I know are like, no, don't cut it. That's why you buy more than one. Okay. 
That may be long enough. Let's see here. That is not long enough. That one's long enough. But I want more of the back. Oh, goodness. Oh, yes. This is my favorite paper right now. Just go ahead and cut it a little past four and see how that looks. Again, I'll give you my mitt. There we go. You got to have that border. So now I cut this one at two and five eighths by four and then almost four and an eighth, not quite. Then our little white one, two and three eighths by three and three quarters. And so you'll want to cut, you'll want to, um, of course, measure your little cut apart. And I went with the ivory behind it to break up some of the black. Now, this one I did the opposite. I used the plaid and then the ivory. And then I do want to put ivory on this, but it's pretty small. So I'm just going to hand cut that. So you can still use your cutter. I'm just going to use my scissors. And if you made the farmhouse album along with me and you're giving it for a gift, you have to give a card with that gift, right? So these are perfect. And one last thing that we're going to do is cut a few strips. And I just, this is a piece left over. And what I'm going to do is just cut this paper in half. It's like three inches. And I'm going to cut some one half inch strips, three of them. I'm going to make like the little flag pendant things. It's hard to see, but they're actually what's back here and behind here. You can see them better while you're working on them. Hi, Linda. How How's Pumper doing? I hope he's being paving himself and not getting into stuff. I have to ink this one, too. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our pennants. These are pretty long. One is going to go underneath here, though. I have it sticking out, so it's a little bit long. Just cut up the center. About a half inch, quarter inch. No exact measurements here. Take a little bit off there. Oh, I am so glad I don't live in a place where we have snakes come to our house. Well, we have little garden snakes. So, to be honest with you, we only need one. On this one, I'm going to cut it in half. You can add more. Again, I'm just going up the center and then corner to center and corner to center. Well, you have a gray walk. I know Moose needs his walks because he's a big dog. Okay, we have those made. Very simple. Use up your scraps here. Hi, Trisha. How you doing? Oh, guys, I have to show you. So, like I mentioned, I made a bunch of cards on my Joy. But... I fell in love with these because my granddaughter has um, her 
graduation is purple. And so she did these for me. Oh, she die cut all these out. Thank you. Thank you, Trisha. I'm loving them. Seems like this year we just need, whoa, we better do this right. Quit talking for Matt. <laughs> well, hello, TC. We're using our farmhouse scraps to make our friendship cards or anytime cards. <coughs> How many of you make your own envelopes to go with your cards? Or do you just buy the standard? I like to make the make them with my artisan card stock because they're heavier. <coughs> Excuse me. And they tend to hold up better in the mail. Okay, remember these two short ones? So I'm going to have one at the top. Or you could even do them in ivory. Like I said, they're more for just, I don't know, extra. And I'm going to put them down first. No real measurements. I'm just holding it back there for a minute. Just however you like it to look. Or however when you put it down however it looks <laughs> it's usually where it's going to go yeah when we glue this see we have to glue our little pennants there okay, down that goes oh, love it like no color it's just chalkboard and it's perfect sure our cards nice and flat now for my happy place i was going to yeah i'm going to have the banner stick out to the left since those are to the right and again just what looks good to your eye and what will fit on your card. Yes, this is the black and white on the farmhouse papers. Um, I think it's so awesome how we all see, when we see the farmhouse papers, some of you went to the orange and white. There was some orange and, well, orange and ivory. And I noticed everybody kind of had their favorite color combinations to this collection that they went to because see there was like the rust so you could do oh my gosh you could do the rust and you could take the rust colored cut apart so it really has a lot of different personalities to it okay again i added some flowers i didn't uh, make them as big before i'll show you these are just singles so using my black again, I'm just going to pop out three of them. And then I did use the little white centers. And we'll go solid. This is the back. So I just want three little solid ones for inside. I'm not um, doing anything with the black ones. And for these little guys, I'll just quickly grab my roller ball, turn this over, and give it a little shape in the center. You can see it'll it'll start rolling up on the ball. Like so. For you that are just joining, I just use the back of my dots because how I mentioned earlier, when you own a beagle, you can't have flower mats and things because they eat them. And he ate four of mine. Even how he got a hold of them, I have no idea. 
a couple of them he actually took out of the box. So I just use those now. Whatever, dot of glue. And you could actually just put a one of the little dots in there if you wanted. And I'm running, so you know what? I'm going to use gold because I'm running out of black. <laughs> I have gone through a ton of these this month. We'll just go with the little gold ones. Let's see how that looks. You can lay these down first, definitely. I don't. I'm going to be adventurous. We're just going to put them down. Kind of overlapping. Yes, TC. Actually, I, I have a, another one, too, to send you. Isn't that cute? Like I said, you can see it better. And you could even write on those little flags if you have that white pen. And now I'm going to make a bow for the top. And I'm just about out of this one. For this one, I'm going to use this cute little thing. And we're getting more of these in stock. They're on their way. They've been kind of hard to get a hold of. And... They make this so much easier than using your fingers. When I can't find it, I do the bow with my fingers. Mr. Wilbur is doing great. He's asleep. You know, he don't he doesn't hang around me as much these days because he, well, I guess he's growing up and he's been a little bit mad, my beagle at me. Um, he's mad because we haven't been able to go out on the bike. But the weather hasn't really permitted, and we've been shipping kits. The May kits are shipping. And we're finishing them up. So I haven't been able to take him out on the bike, which he hasn't been thrilled with. And um, he'll get over it, right? Back to my E6000. Clothespin. Always great to use. Now on this one, I'm not going to do it on camera because, oh, your cat eats it, Carol? Um, I It dried overnight. Actually, I used just a button. I put a button and some of that black twine in the center. And all you have to do is the same thing. Make a small bow, layer it if you want, and you can put it there. But I'm going to add some of the dots. The pop dots here or enamel dots from G45. I'm going to use three of them. Buttons. Buttons are one of the favorite things to use too. I love buttons. But because it's a the type of, you know, these are glossy. They don't really do well with. No, I mean the ribbons. They don't do well with your art glitter glue. These don't stick well. That's why I always put, I mean, they do stick, but they're not a permanent stick. And then I just want to add on this one. I keep, can't remember if it's upside down. I want to add a couple more dots here. Just the mediums. one on the corner and there you go Tanya yes we do I, I need to see if we've got any of it um oh I know Renee you would think he's being neglected that's how he acts um I will check online we did have it and hopefully we still do so I know that one's going to take a few more minutes to dry 
there we have our farmhouse cards. And you know, it just fills the time we need farmhouse in our life. Let me tell you, <laughs> the weather's getting good. I see the clothesline, but here it is in the ivory card base, black. And I did the same there. So I hope you guys make plenty of these cards. Send them out to your friends. And then also with these little scraps that happen when you cut things, you can definitely use these on the inside if it just seems too plain. Especially when you cut it off, we can still read like the rise and shine. And when this dries, I'll probably go back and definitely will add those. So there's our cards for Friday. Now we're going to do our layout. Um, the paper collection that we're using is the Graphic 45. Um, this is the farmhouse. And we, I already did an album with it what, a couple weeks ago. Go. Oh, they're making the place photo stamp now. My new stamp, Connie. It's being, we're having more manufactured. And they're manufactured right here in the U.S. Um, so I don't have, they'll be here soon. But this is the farmhouse line. This is the chipboards I had left. And we made the cards out of the scraps. Aren't they cute? And of course, it, they never go back in the same place. Now, I think this would be cute if you had a, a recipe you wanted to send a friend. Okay, so there's our cards. Now, when you make your envelopes, I just remember this is the artisan card stock. I went a size. I go up one of the sizes. So measure your card because you have that heavy bow and then you can um, make them bigger. So let's move to our layouts using and I kind of made a mess. So what I did, I'm going to move my scoreboard here. Let's get some of our scraps here out of the way. I didn't attach this down because this is my last frame for right now, but I'll go through everything with you because we have to do the side-by-side -side layouts. If you like layouts, now I like them to put in frames. I put these in frames. Everything's messed up. And the vintage coastal is just amazing. But we want these to kind of be the same picture now. I'll probably use two frames, two 12 by 12 frames. And yes, I do too, Renee. I'm going to use two 12 by 12 frames. Actually, I get the little bit bigger. And then I will hang these up with the pictures from our cruise that we did the crafting cruise last August. And I will put the pictures in here. So let's start with the left hand side. And I'll give you all those measurements. And again, your layered frames jennifer palmer on our design team i think she did it with the valentine ones i can't quite remember these are so awesome there's there's no sticky here so you can adhere them as you need but your packages look at these i had a hard time choosing so these two kind of go together and then i did the ship ones that kind of went together and then you'll also have the little port icon portholes Aren't they fun? So for the layout, I started with a base. And most of you, you know, I'm sure you guys are so versed in making your layouts. I'm going to just roll that off. Um, I chose the Artisan Craft because it looks sandy. It's 12 by 12. And then I took the patterns and solids. Well, they call them coordinating colors or basics kit. That you can purchase with this and so i chose i'm using the back side here of this darker one which is more of your coral pink so you have two in there and i'm not um i didn't ink the edges or anything so we need to do that i'm going to use I've got sepia but i think i'm going to go with more of the acorn. Let's try acorn. Yeah, let's go acorn. 
little bit darker to give the edge more of that rustic look. Now they're starting to show up more. I did put the sticker down. I didn't mean to last night. Acorn's pretty dark. So our base is going to be 11, 11 and a half by 11 and a half. You can make it any size you want though. And it'll still work with the measurements I give you. Bye, Renee, and thanks for coming and dropping in on Friday. I know I'm getting excited. We're going to be going to the nursery this evening to get more plants and flowers. I can't wait to get our garden in and just eat from home. Um, one thing you'll notice on this paper to my left. I need to pay attention here. Um, you're going to see some shading to the left, and it almost looks like it was pulled out of a notebook. And it is actually upside down. In order for my two papers to match, I had to do that. So if you're following along too, um, it's okay. We we cover it. Um, so it is upside down, but it's not going to show. Oh, sorry, it's the, the warehouse. Okay. Let's make sure it's flat. If you're using a wet adhesive, you have snow. Of course, I did see you were getting a cold spell up there. And we kind of had a cold spell the last two days, but now we're done. And we're here in Utah, and which is a good thing because I'm ready to get outside. Whoops. Okay, measurements. This piece I cut 10 by 4. And what I did is I did the same thing. I cut up the center and then point to center and point to center. And then for the second one, I just laid it on top so I'd have basically what I thought was the same thing. Now, this is from. You, it's going to be from your cut aparts. So now I can actually straighten that out. I can see the two aren't matching. Well, Utah better not have that. <laughs> oh, that's depressing. I'm so sorry, guys. Because I know you're so ready for some spring weather, too. So one is going to go here, and one will go on our second sheet. So these are 10 by 4. Now I want to put this one down after I ink the edges. Vesta, how are you? Okay, down this one goes. What was I throwing? have to answer the warehouse okay I'm just gonna match that to the edge and I think you guys know me there's no measuring you just put it where it looks good to you I'm working with the glue I'm just gonna turn it over make sure things are spread nice and thin
because the simple stories paper is a little bit this background paper that I'm using from there the salt that match it just seems a little bit lighter I think it's more of a, probably a 65 weight and then we're going to cut and I'll give you these measurements one of these is two inches by my scoreboard's over here one's two inches by ten and a half two and a half inches by ten and a half let's get this right and then two inches I know this one's two inches two by eight see that was pretty too I had such a hard time but my whole thing was I wanted this at the bottom to look like the water now we have to bring this one almost down to there and we're going to place this over the seam so this one is longer because it's ten and a half and I did the same thing so just cut up your center and then corner to center and corner to center and then I put these together and I did the matching or you can cut them both at the same time this Vesta is called it's the simple stories um, vintage coastal and it's so pretty it has a lot of these watercolor looking um, designs and it's from their designer who's been doing all the vintage looking items now we're going to set this right at the bottom and i am going to be making an album in a box with this i did one once with the Pr uh, prima um ocean one it's been years and i have to do it again because i love this collection I don't have water. I live in the mountains. <laughs> yes, vintage coastal. But um, I love ocean themed things. I'm a Pisces. That's why. And then the shipboard. Again, I had such a hard time because that was such a beautiful blue, but we're going with the, the boards. Using the darker distress ink here. So I want to set that just going to kind of um, overlap on both pieces of your layout. Right up to the edge. Give you that layered look. Now when it comes to the frame, as you can see, it's quite decorated. Um, putting it down again, you'll just kind of want to decide where you want it. More towards the centers. Um, and again, you need to be able to put, so you can put your photo back there. You could also just take your a square of your acrylic and you can create a, a frame with it. But for here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adhere down this bigger edge so I can slide a photo in. A four, this is a good four by five by seven cut down is what I would do. But that will leave me the room then to get my photo inside of there. And then I can glue it down the rest of the way. And then this is going to look great either in your... 12 by 12 if you still do the 12 by 12 layouts or you can put it in the frames like I'm going to do and I'll do the frame more like the shadow box because then I'm going to put some things from the cruise on there and these come from your ephemera packs of the and I did show these before so you have two different ones you have the bits and pieces and then we also have just the floral which you're seeing here on the tree whoops and then you've got all these bits and pieces so it was super hard to choose i did a whole walk through let me take him out even though i've got some of the other things here that i want to use remember when we dumped this i think i lost a few oh 
he fell out. So I'm going to pull up the picture. Nope, that's not the one that I took last night. There we go. Oh, we had some flowers. I guess I lost the flowers, so we'll pick out some others. He said there's a lot to choose from. See all these florals? They're just beautiful. And they're hard to get a hold of. Yes, you can use a magnetic board. You can use those um, sticks. Help me here. You know what sticks I'm talking about, right? <laughs> From the click sticks. I showed those a long time ago. So my little tree here, though, I want to cut off a little bit of the stem. I think he's too long. And I'm going to just round... those edges so I can have him down there a day in the sun up at the top and then these I did have some little hearts I guess when I dumped it everything went flying I didn't notice it but you have tons of these little tidbits if you purchase the bits and pieces that come with it. And then we have some more hearts. So your layout, which is basically what you're wanting to tell your story about. Yes, well, those are the click sticks, definitely. And then this will adhere flat when... I add the photo from the cruise. Okay, day in the sun. Let's put our flowers down first. <clears throat> and there, Pam. There's your stickers. <laughs> you were asking, where's my stickers? Instead of making the little flowers, there's your flower stickers right there. They won't go with farmhouse, but they'll work with this one. more touches here. I'll take my scraper to them in just a moment. I think I had a little seagull. Mm, don't know where he flew to. He flew off the layout, that's for sure. Okay, let's just make sure everything's down. And there is our left hand side. Oh, there's a ton, ton of things when you purchase this collection and the bits and pieces. So that's going to be the left hand side. Now for the right hand side. I don't want to lose anything. This up oh, there we go. There's my starfish. I'm so happy I took pictures of it last night. <laughs> okay, this is where you want to work kind of side by side so that we can match everything up. Be a little more careful this time. We'll just push it off and we're going to repeat Oops, and do the same thing. The only thing is, remember, I put that sticker there. And I did that because I wanted to make sure I keep things straight. Hi, Donna's. I hope you're feeling better. See, that's why you saw the shading over here. You don't even notice that the wording was upside down. There is some wording. It's very, very faint, but you'll notice it on your paper 
collection, but we needed it to look symmetrical. I know. Well, there's a couple seagulls in there, and he's on my desk somewhere. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this one down first, keeping my left. That's pretty too, isn't it? You can do so much with this collection. So many colors, things. Because I'm out here by the Great Salt Lake. So I could use the seagulls because we, you know, seagulls are our state bird. A lot of people don't like them. They think they're flying rats. I love them. I think they're flying wibbers. So I got to answer. I always back my layouts. I know that um, if you're not backing your layouts, then these guys will match up better. I even back them when I was putting them in books. Oh, <laughs> how true, how true. They certainly are the new rats with wings, aren't they? Of course, they are good out here in Utah. We don't have a lot of them. Once in a while. But they sure do eat a lot of other bugs. Same sizes. The 10 by 4. 10 and a half by 2 and a half. This one will have our double frame. Now my goal is to keep it symmetrical here. See how it kind of comes alive? And then we'll add the wood. And then we'll have our double frame. And you can you can stagger them or you can have them straight across. I am going to stagger it and bring it down a little bit. And yes, I know when you put a picture back there, you are going to hide some of that. But you could also bring it up off of the... Hey, that looks kind of different. You can bring it up off just however you want your layout to look. Okay, I'll just ink everything up and we'll put these down and your layouts are ready to go. You've got your cards. And I like days like this when we can kind of like build up our, what I call my reserves <laughs> for projects that needed to get done and I just never did get done like this layout for the cruise I was kind of waiting I didn't really want a cruise paper so when this one came out from simple stories I knew it was perfect even though we weren't in a tropical location it was a New England cruise still had that feel right okay that's all the inking I need to do I'm going to kind of overlap these so I can keep this straight as possible. So I want it to look continuous. If I can find them, we took our first cruise like about 12 years ago to the Bahamas where everybody goes, right? And this is going to be a great paper for that. If I can find it. Find them. I have a hus husband that reorganizes often. And that's my problem with finding pictures. I know they're here. I just don't know where he put them. Okay. Now down goes the blue. Everything just wants to slide.
And our wood grains next. Tell you, once you start working with these frames with simple stories, you're gonna love them. And if you're in our if you're on the Facebook group, Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations, I'll have Jennifer post again the album she did. Hi, Lane. I'll have her post the album she did using um, all of the G4, no, Simple Stories frames with her project. Okay, let's keep those guys straight, hopefully. Love it. And our frame. So this one, see it has East and it was an East Coast retreat. So we're good, right? <laughs> Again, you can you can put your acrylic on the back. Um, Joan, these are dried, and that one's kind of yucky. I'm these are dry. I take my diaper wipes and dry them out. They last a long time. And it keeps ink from smearing from your fingers. So once again, I'm just going to attach this heavy side till I get my photos in. Or the thicker edge that has your graphics on it. And then we'll put the photos in when I get them. And I'm going to set this one up just a little bit higher. And the photo will go back, and then I will adhere this down. Dixie, are you watching? How cute. So the pieces I chose for here are going places. Again, I wanted that to look somewhat like the sea. And this was from the bits and pieces. This one is the ship. Or I mean, the little boat. Oh, be kind of nice to be shipwrecked on an island, wouldn't it? <laughs> Then I've got two of the palm leaves. Um, I changed my layout just a little bit here from the original picture. That always happens because these are actually up here at the top. Again, when I put the photos in, I'll just glue it down and it'll be just fine. Um, this, I believe, was meant for the other side. I didn't use a flower here because I used these two guys. The oars, Paradise. Paradise and Seymour. Let's move those guys over there. So if you're on Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations, you're now going to see I've changed the layout somewhat. Because it just happened. I need a starfish. Oh, a couple of hearts. I did use those. And I did not use this. So this must have fallen off of the other one. So we can now get all that down. And then you've got, you've got your layout. I have, it's, it's been a while. I did show an old album. Gosh, years ago. You know, this is how I think a lot of us, we all started scrapbooking was cards and layouts. And I haven't done one in a long time. So I'll bet you guys were just as surprised as I was. <laughs> and going places. And so we have day in the sun and going places. Bring him over here. Someday we'll be going places. Our ship more down to the bottom. Are you saying starfish up in the corner? There we go.
get our flowers down. This collection I can see is going to be so easy to work projects with. Because you have so much to work with. That came off of the sticker sheets I need to show you. So your sticker sheets is also extremely gorgeous. Your sticker sheet has a lot to work from too. And it was the banner piece right here. And then I just cut it in half. So again, you've got tons to work from here. And I know our design team, Kim, Kim Can't Stop Crafting, has done a tutorial. Something's falling using this. Make sure our oars are down. And there you go. Now when you put this in your book or you use your click sticks that hang from the top, you've got a beautiful layout. Throw your pictures in there. Give this as a gift, especially do you have a bride and groom going on a destination maybe someday <laughs> or having a, wet, a beach theme. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, you heard the pause. And then we did our totally different look cards looks like we're all dry here and it was a fun friday so i hope to see you back on scrapbookers of country craft creations or if you're already there post what you make i'd love to see your layouts we don't do a lot of layouts um I, mini albums are my thing in cards so if you do these please show us on scrapbookers so we can see what your layouts look like thanks everybody and wow this went by so fast I will see you Wednesday when we're going to start a patriotic folio for Authentique. So make sure you join me there. I think I need to add this one little lost cart. And we will we'll be together on Wednesday. There we go. Fill in that space. Have a fabulous weekend. And I really will be hoping that that polar vortex does not come your way, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>